What's on boys? Been a while. Uh, welcome back to the YouTube channel and today we're working on this again. Um, it has been a while. Uh, I do apologise. I've been busy. I have been doing other car stuff in the form of my Nissan. Uh, as it's my summer car, I wanted to drive it sooner. This is more of a long term project. So it sort of took a back, back foot. I'd also lost the love for it a bit. So I just needed to take a break a bit maybe and just like take a rest. And then come back to it when I felt a bit better and had a bit more parts, a bit more motivation. And yeah, so um, as you can see, there's a bit of, bit of difference since uh, I left it in the last video, I think. I can't even remember. I think it's been about seven months since I've properly recorded and worked on this. And as you can see, my winch bumper is on. My radiator is in. It needs a bit of modification as the bonnet doesn't shut properly. And one of the mounts is a little bit iffy. But as you can see, just modified some 300 TDI mounts that were already on the radiator. Kept the ma managed to keep the original panel on here so we can shut the bonnet nice and easily. Um, and yeah, that's the main bit of fabrication that's happened. Next thing is, this is another big part. Down here, I'm not sure if the light can capture it. There is a, let's butcher his name again, P. R. Takunin or PT Racing. Um, om 606 Land Rover Manifold, uh, which I was recommended by Ali Carter, Harry Millward, who are both really big in the om 606 Land Rover scene, um, if you can call it a scene or group, whatever. Um, and they had recommended me to go and get one, really reasonably priced. It's actually the cheapest one on the market, but it's also incredibly good quality, so <clears throat> can't really complain about that. Um, and it, the shipping time, he... I put the order in, there was a two week lead time because obviously his stuff's really popular over where he is from. And yeah, so he made it for me two weeks, in a day, done, in the post, within a week it was at my house. And that was obviously before this corona rocked up. So in other words, hope you guys are keeping safe and well, you're all good. And yes. Um, Next things that have happened on the Land Rover, I guess, um, there's been a few issues. Uh, I put the brake master in ages ago, run the brake lines and everything, and I was pretty happy with it, other than the fact I never painted the actual brake master. <clears throat> so I've taken it out again. We're going to paint it. It's going to look better. Um, also, we had the issue of, I say we, I had the issue because I'm an idiot and ran the brake lines wrong. So on my TDI, when I, well, on my 2.5 turbo with a 300 TDI conversion, um, the front left brake line was run along the front cross member. So I did exactly the same because obviously I didn't know any different. Um, but apparently you're supposed to run it across the bulkhead. And I was just looking at things. It looks a lot cleaner. And um, yeah, so it looks a lot cleaner and it, it's supposed to be there. That's the main thing we're getting at is it's supposed to be there. Not down the front here, um, which has now managed to wrap itself around my steering bar not ideal so the plan is now is to get a pioneer 4x4 kit um about 325 pound but it's got the versatility of being a stainless steel brake line kit it looks a lot better and it's just like it's got a lifetime warranty it's just nicer in general so i'm gonna splash out a bit and just get it done properly first time um that's the sort of thing now that i've gone to because i was mainly focusing on doing it to the point at which I'd get it running, get it driving, get it done, and then worry about why making it look pretty later. But I've decided now that it's probably best that I just do it properly first time. So just run full Pioneer kit. As you can see, I've got the Pioneer clutch line from Clutch Fix with their integrated big old slave cylinder. And yeah, so just do it properly first time. Um, next thing is if you follow me on Instagram, you would have noticed that. Uh, I put an oil cooler on it. Um, that's in a good place at the moment, but I'm worried about it being in the place for a steering guard. Uh, I've spoken to the chaps at ORE, and it is on the inside, so I might have to move that. Which isn't an issue for me, because it's only a couple tabs that have been welded on. So, But I do want to run the ORE steering guard, because it is a lovely piece of kit. Um, what else have we got on there at the moment? Most recent part, it literally turned up yesterday, um, which is testament to the good service of Pioneer 4x4, is my extended turbo drain. So with the manifold, the turbo drain was ever so slightly too short, and 
what happened was I couldn't fit the turbo the way I wanted to. Um, and yeah, I needed a new extended turbo drain. So I spoke to the chaps at Pioneer and they sorted me out a bloody good and they did. And it looks awesome. It looks literally, they've managed to replicate it so well. It's just a little bit longer. Uh, really simple, but the service on them. I think even in this time, they are absolutely rammed at the moment because obviously everyone's doing their car projects and all that sort of stuff. People are doing their car projects. I've repeated myself a couple of times. But anyway, yeah, people are doing their car projects and they're wanting all the parts. They're over. They're, they're absolutely packed at the moment, but they managed to get that done within a week. And that was after me taking one month to send it to them because I just kept doing things on my Nissan, which wasn't ideal for this, but we've been over that. Um, so at the moment, there is currently the base plug that goes in there that attaches it to the engine. That's uh, tacking off with the silicon sealant, not silicon sealant, silicon gasket. I'm not a bodger. I say that. Um, yeah, but I've just got some good old Loctite on there because that's what I had previously. And yeah, I'm just waiting on that to tack off and then we can put the line in. And maybe we can even mount the turbo today, which would be lovely. Um, another issue with my turbo is because the housing is so large and the wastegate is also quite large, I can't clock it the way I want to to run the intercooler, so I'm gonna have to extend the wastegate. But for uh, purposes that I just want to see what it looks like in the engine bay, um, we can see what we can do and make it look smart, which would be lovely. Um, what else have we got? Nothing on the Land Rover front just yet. Um, I was going to do some GoPro time lapsing when the thing has tacked off after I've played with my Nissan slightly. I need to get over the pit and do some stuff because the exhaust, because it's so low, we'll, we'll go and have a look at it. Because it's so low, if you look over there, it's super low. Um, it's been scraping and the exhaust clamp, V-band clamp has decided it wants to undo itself and start scraping along the floor. So I have to tighten that up and yeah, so we'll get that in, we'll have a look and then we'll carry on with some Land Rover stuff. Right, so we're back. As you can see by the time lapse, we got the pipe on down here. Um, that's now bottled up, siliconed up, and ready to go. Next issue was getting these studs back out the um, manifold, and because some of them I'd put the turbo on before, because obviously I found out that the turbo didn't fit properly, and uh, it, for some reason the studs decided they wanted to stick in, so I had to take them off the nuts, and there was one that was stuck in the turbo. But that's all done now. It is now time to fit the turbo. It's an exciting time. And we've got to make sure everything lines up and fits perfectly.
All right, lads, we're back. Um, as you can see, it's a different day. The weather's a bit better. I'm wearing different stuff. But you've probably seen by the time lapse that we got a bit distracted. People turned up. John was here because he was working for my dad. And um, yeah, the turbo is now on. Uh, you may have also seen in the time lapse that we had a bit of an issue with the turbo drain. That's because I uh, stuck it on the wrong way out. But yeah, so um, I don't know why I'm showing you that way. That's the way we want to be. So turbo's on. I need to put the circlip on the back because currently you can do this. You can pull the face off, which isn't good. But um, it's just there to protect the fins really from where it's sat in the engine. We don't want to damage those fins because the new turbo is going to be expensive. Um, but yeah, they're all tight. Uh, next thing to do is to, uh, what is it, put the oil cooler lines on. Um, but as with these fittings, I need to modify them slightly and uh, sort of cut this bit off because we're going to jubilee clip it because I don't have a hydraulic crimper. I also need to bend these fittings because they're at a 90 degree and we don't want them at a 90 degree. We sort of want them at a 45 degree. So that also means I need to go and get a heat not heat gun blowtorch needs a blowtorch heat them up slightly um and yeah um what else have we got to do uh put the alternator back up which is down there like hidden their way it actually needs to be bolted back up again so i can put the belt on and the final thing to do actually before well we can start it up without that um we just need to, this the oil cooler lines that need to be uh done before we start it but the next thing to do is to also modify this power steering pump because I've got a TDI power steering pump because the one I got with the engine is the one from the one which has hydraulically controlled suspension and we don't want that uh, it's not the easiest one to root and I thought why not try and make a Land Rover one it's been done before I've seen it on the Merc forum so hence why I'm quite keen to do it um, I've got the oh, I've got a Land Rover power steering bolt, um, pump brand spanking new from Keith Scott Land Rovers because my mate went up there John went up there because he's helping to rebuild a well he's rebuilding his brother's Land Rover which you would have seen on the channel uh, because that doesn't want to run at the moment and also we're build, in the process of also building a 90 for our friend who's had the old engine out of this and we're fitting it and making it go quicker because it had a 2.5 turbo which is gutless as fuck um, so yeah he's gone and got this for me um, we've got to fit it we've got to make an adapter plate make it fit and yeah it means we don't have to run any silly lines don't have to worry about any other lines don't have to worry about blanking anything modifying pumps it should literally be the case of bolted to it um put the pulley on and it should all go rather well but that'll be in another video because i this video has already probably dragged on quite a lot and we've been distracted by my jdm crusty uh i had to change my headlight bulb which has resulted in me taking the entire front end off because i snapped two bolts ideal but yeah so that's all done and i need to sort this out before um i go back to this i've done a bit of painting as you also saw on the time lapse i threw that in there because you know add a bit got got to fill that content out a bit make sure you actually see i'm actually doing stuff i've painted the brake master uh gloss black now i've literally just put a coat on it of gloss black I'm waiting on it another one to wait on it to dry and then we can go for another coat but yeah the main reason i want to get this out as well is so i can actually do the service on this my van my van's on a well overdue a service um and yeah it's coming up to 150,000 miles so i should probably uh get it done and this needs one because it hasn't had one since i've owned it and it's the oil's looking rather black anyway uh back to the land rover uh it's a case of modifying this as well i need to modify some mounts as i've told you previously modify these brackets here because they're stopping intercooler stuff happening and then just clean everything up really but yeah i think that's about rounds up the today's video because quite honestly um i'm not going to do any more on this today i'm finishing this up and trying to get this sorted before because it's my daily driver at the moment this is my daily and i should probably get it back to a daily driving condition uh with some bolts on it and sorting it out but um yeah i don't really know what else to tell you other than thank you for watching i uh, hope you enjoyed and, um, yeah, see you guys in the next one.